Crude oil found the resistance close to $70 levels and has erased the gains since yesterday. Now it has come down to 68.8 levels, the support zone here. While it is the natural gas, which is beauty, remember I have told you several times that once it breaks 3.2, 3.24, just close your eyes, stay bullish. What has happened? We have already seen 3.42 here in natural gas. This is the beauty of levels. And I have been highlighting this since long for natural gas, just, just stay bullish. I have been mentioning this since 2.2 levels that yes, stay bullish. We are looking forward to an exceptional rise. So now what to expect from oil and gas? Can we expect further rise in gas? Can we expect oil to follow as well? Or there is a possibility of reversal and retracement. What is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading crude oil and natural gas today? We are going to see with the help of charts and indicators. We will do a multi-time frame analysis and arrive at the levels which are logical such that you can take a trade, understand the logic and trade with confidence, trade with profits. This is the first update for the day and this is the only channel in the world to give you two updates a day with such a detailed and thorough analysis. Thus subscribe, press the bell icon, do like, share and comment, join the free telegram channel for live updates. Join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Let's start first to look into US crude followed with natural gas, watch till the end here. What's happening on the early charts? See oil yesterday moved towards uh, $70 levels and it has come down again to the support zone here. Now it is very very important to watch out how it behaves at 68.8 68.4 zone this is the zone which is going to provide the maximum support and any drop below 68.4 is a sign of bearishness we have to wait we have to wait for it to show this signal that it is willing to drop more and that is only if it trades below 68.4 see moving averages have started to converge here though not yet crossed over another way to look at it is drop retracement and now see it is getting resistance from the 20 period moving average it is very very important for oil to now trade above 69.4 69.6 so this zone between 68.4 68.6 to 69.4, 69.6. This complete $1 zone is going to be a very good, you can say, resistance and support levels in between which we have to exercise extra caution. Stock ISTIC has dropped here. The MACD is bearish. The RSI has dropped. It is running flat as of now. On the two hour chart, similar is the observation. See, after the drop, it is getting a bit of resistance from the 20 period here. Let it break beyond 69.3. You can buy here, expect 69.5, 69.6 levels here. And beyond this, you can expect further rise here. While right now, uh, on the downside at this point, you have to exercise extra caution. The moving averages are still in green. It has crossed over. It is still in the bullish zone. What is happening? You should notice rise and forming a nice flag. So either it has to come out of this flag in order to confirm a reversal. Else, right now, the stance is bullish stock stick rising see the macd has hit the highs and now crossed over trading with divergence trading with bearishness here rsi has dropped as well on the three hour charts and you see the observation is more or less same drop retracement and dropping again but again i will say be careful till 68.4 that is the only level below which i will say that the bears will be taking over else i i still see this as a nice flag formation here look at this flag and yes a breakout beyond 70 and then 70.5 is a clear sign of more bullishness towards 72. Stock I stick at the bottom. See the MACD has crossed over. And this is what we did, did discuss. The tries retracement. Tries slight retracement. Uh, this could pull the prices a little down before it bounces back up again. RSI has dropped a bit. On the 4 hour Now see previously on the 1 hour and 2 hour charts we have seen. Uh, oil getting resistance from the 20 period what is happening on the four hour charts it is getting support from the 20 50 period moving average see what has happened here what is happening here uh, both replicates the same it is getting support from the 20 50 period moving average thus it is very 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 important for oil to trade below 68.4 and confirm bearishness else do not trade this as bearish this is very clear stock i stick at bottom the macd is on the verge of a crossover for sell and see this crossover can lead to slight retracement but ideally if you look at uh, see the bottom here and right now it is in the box it can still show you such move which can it where it can hit the highs here the rsi is comfortably uh, come down and it is just trading at a zone where you can say it can in fact bounce back further up coming to the daily charts now before we move to daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram 
connect with me write an email ping me over telegram for your queries and if you're looking forward to a broker which offers you a swift free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges easier transactions and easier withdrawals you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description now on the daily charts i have mentioned one thing earlier see uh, the levels here are crucial see it has found a good support here at around 66 levels and as long as this wall is not breached we have to be cautious now second thing to note here it is slightly the highs and the lows are slightly tilted here but a breakout over 70.5 is the confirmation of a move towards 72 72.5 this is very clear now what has happened since yesterday first of all the beginning of the week was strongly bullish for two days it has consolidated higher lows here and higher highs here only bearishness today is if you see oil trading below 68.4 as long as 68.4 is not taken i will not be trading this as bearish below 68.4 is where you can expect 68 67.8 at the first sub target levels then 67.3 67 levels at the second support levels and these levels are achievable because once it breaks out beyond 68 it is going to deliver a strong bearish moment in my expectation i still do not see this as bearish yes uh, look if it breaks out today it is going to deliver similar size of candle that is also clear here we have to watch out we have to watch out with caution I will still not say that oil is turning bearish. Uh, yes, if you see it is staying above 69.3, you can initiate a buying entry here. Expect 69.6, 70, 70.5 and higher levels here. It, see the stock ISTIC is rising. The MACD, if you look at, uh, notice this rise, retracement. It is on the verge of a crossover. This crossover can lead to a stronger rise here in the near future. RSI is comfortable. So looking at this. Buy at 69.3 and sell at 68.7. Now, if you are selling at 68.7, first target at 68.4, next at 68, 67.8, then the third is at 67.3, 67. Once it trades below 67.367 is where the bears are waiting. You can look forward to 66.5 and 66 levels. As far as my expectation goes, I think it is going to be difficult for it to break those levels here at least today. But yes, these are markets. You should keep the note of uh, such levels here. While on the upside, you can buy at 69.3, wait for 69.5, 69.6 as the first target, then 70 as the second, and then 70.5. If these three levels are taken, close your eyes, stay bullish. 71.4, 72.4 is the next target. Beyond 72.4, sky is the limit. We can look forward to a gap filling towards 74.5, 75 levels very, very, very soon. Take your positions accordingly. Let's move to natural gas. Natural gas I have been sharing since long now. Double bottom here. Buy here and expect a rise and see once it breaks out beyond this formation. We are looking forward to moon. I have mentioned very clearly once it breaches 3.2, 3.24, stay bullish. We are looking forward to 3.5, 3.6. Now already it has seen 3.42 here. Let's start with the early charts here. What's happening? See, it has formed a very, very good support and it has seen this rise and it is still staying bullish. If you look at after this is stronger rise, rise right now, the movement is a bit, bit uh, you can say, slowed down. And thus now you need to wait for the net gas to trade about 3.42. 3.42 is going to be a very good resistance, 3.42. And uh, if it stays about 3.42, you can expect that the next target is going to be towards 3.45 and then 3.5 levels. Moving averages are trading bullish. While at the same time, remember, it has already seen a good run. And there is a possibility of a move towards 20 period moving average, which is sitting at around 3.34, which is going to be the first support zone for the day and then 3.3 levels, the next support. Stock has taken near to overbought. See, look at MACD rise, retracement rise. It is willing to retrace here. I will wait. I will wait for a couple of bearish candles for it to confirm the reversal. RSI is overbought here, coming to 2 look at the two hour charts rise retracement towards 20 period rise it may wait for the 20 period to climb up and then retrace towards those levels now second thing here is uh, higher lows here flat top here wait for it to break right now i can see a bit of hesitation here on the upside and thus wait for 3.42 levels to be taken else what could happen if it stays now below 3.38 3.35 levels or 3.4 levels you can expect a correction towards 3.3 uh, looking at the stance right now appears to be a difficult move the stock has take overbought macd at the highs here and the rsi is extremely overbought
coming to three on the three hour chart stance is still bullish uh, though i can see a bit of resilience but i can still say that it is not turning bearish you can also notice this consistent bullish candles a bit of consolidation and another round of breakout means another strong bullish candle today so wait for it to stay above 3.42 else what could happen it can again retrace towards 20 period now what it may do here is it may wait for the moving average to climb up stay in zone for a while retrace towards 20 period and then bounce back stochastic overbought macd rising rsi overbought here coming to four the observation is same on the four hour charts higher lows are seen higher highs are seen and uh, on the upside 3.4 to 3.45 very very critical on the downside 3.34 3.35 very very critical this zone is where you have to exercise extra caution stochastic overbought macd rising rsi overbought here coming to the day now look at the daily charts i have mentioned this double bottom and i have also mentioned once it breaks out beyond this we are looking forward to an enormous rise already it has seen close to 3.42 and see these are the levels which we are seeing almost after a year now yes this is last october november where we had seen the such levels and now it is back to such levels and it it appears there is further room for more rise towards 3.5 3.6 levels so you should keep a note of this now look at the formation a bit of retracement couple of bullish candles a stronger rise bollinger bands expect certainly is an indication of more bullishness once it stays above 3.4 to 3.45 is stay bullish for 3.51 and 3.55 and 3.6 as the next target stock isic overbought macd rising rsi rising looking at this very simple buy at 3.42 expect a move towards 3.45 3.51 3.55 and 3.6 levels as the next targets possibility is there on the downside take a selling entry at 3. 38 expect 3.3534 as the very very strong support if it trades below 3.3534 stay short for 3.3 and below 3.3 is where slight bearishness may prevail that which may take it till towards 3.27 3.24 levels chances for which appears to be less take your trades accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my signals channel do not miss to watch the next update before the us session thank you have a great profitable trading day